It's a great day, my amazing CEOs. When COVID-19 hit, for many companies, there was uncertainty and certainly a number of sales that was going down, down, down. However, there was a company called Love Very. Now, Love Very was an educational toy company, and their job was to focus on providing educational toys. And they realized that, you know what? During this time of the pandemic, during this time of uncertainty and why sales are declining, one thing is for certain, parents who are stuck at home with their kids, they needed more creative ways, not only to entertain them, but to also to make sure they were keeping up with the education. So Lori's challenge was, how do we reach new clients and how do we retain the ones we have without losing anything, which were all companies, it was a very unique challenge. But during the pandemic, they also said, we're gonna maintain a low cost, and we're going to also make sure we're profitable. And something shifted. There was a change that they had to be ready for that they took advantage of. And that was the cost of digital ads during the pandemic actually went down. Now, this was unusual. But you know what they said? They said, you know what? We're going to change our strategy, our sales strategy. We're going to start using ads, paid digital ads, to reach out to our ideal clients and the new folks who may have never, ever worked with us in the past. Now, this one move to get new clients, this one move jumped their revenue from $22 million in 2019 up to $76 million, almost three times the revenue in one year. And so to keep the wave going, because, you know, in sales, you've got to have a sales system, a sales structure, to keep the wave going, they expanded their product line. So they said, you know what? We're going to go from just selling toys, which was pretty cool. What if we had a subscription-based offering? And what if we found a way to collaborate, do partnerships as part of what we're doing in this sales outreach? And they reached one strategic partner to help change the trajectory of their business as well, which was Target. And so now they've, they've done a few unique things with their sales systems. They've, number one, decided, you know what? We're going to have a different lead generation system, number, number, which is going to be paid. Number two, we're going to innovate our product offering. Number three, our sales message will change because of what's going on in the environment. So, so what's the one thing you can take away initially is that for every CEO, you've got to constantly be innovating your sales system. You've got to be looking at how you're solving a problem, and you've got to leverage partnerships. You know, I say it often, but it's so true that collaboration crushes competition. Collaboration crushes competition. So now they have low, very, has predictable revenue stream. They've got a good sales system, and now they can go off and do some other pretty cool things in the world. So what's my big takeaway from you? Number one, for all CEOs, a constant innovating your sales systems. Number two, have a sales strategy that includes partnership that you're very active in and looking at collaboration. So yeah, you want to partner with folks, but you also want to collaborate. Why? Because collaboration crushes competition and then have a clear outreach to get new clients. It's okay to work with the clients you have. You want to work with them. That's additional revenue. But also, what's the number one sales strategy, the number one sales message to bring in new clients to folks who just don't know who you are today? When you do those things, you will see your sales go up, 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 and away. With that being said, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown. Welcome to the CEO Sales Huddle. It is an honor and a privilege to serve you. I'm so glad you're here. Every morning we get started. We like to get started the exact same way, which, which is what our mantra. And our mantra is, if you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. Let me tell you why. Because sales is the oxygen for every great business in history. And without sales, there's always more money going out than there is coming in. Shay, what's the point? Selling is serious business. So repeat after me. If you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. Because sales is the oxygen for every great business in history. And without sales, there's always more money going out than there is coming in. Now, our second segment that we always like to do every morning is for every CEO that's out there watching now. And this is all about what are we going to pledge to our sales department? And so our pledge is we're going to learn, we're going to earn, and we're going to return. So I want you to repeat after me. I have to learn something new in order to earn new revenue from existing clients in order to get new and old clients to return. So I must learn, I must earn, and I must return. Now, we have three objectives every single morning we get together. There are three objectives. And our number one objective is all about sales progress. So just the fact you're in this 
relaxation. You're focusing on your sales, your sales systems, your sales funnel, your sales team, your sales strategy, your sales message. You're going to see an increase. Number two reason that we get together every single morning is to address any roadblocks. We just went over a whole case study where they had a number of roadblocks that they had to address, by the way. And the third reason we get together is to understand the five sales pillars that every CEO must know and understand in order to be successful. And I love sharing them every morning. I never get tired of it. And as you tune in, I want you to listen very carefully. You might not be able to say it with me, by the way. But sales pillar number one. You must have a one-page CEO sales plan. If you don't have that, go over to www.ceosalesplan.com. Download it now. Download now. Number two is you must understand your sales cycle, the cycle that your clients go through from the time you attract them to the time you're communicating with them and nurturing them all the time they're ready to convert. And then number three is you must have a sales message. You must be clear and concise with the sales message. Why? Because a confused mind rarely buys. And number four, you must understand your CEO sales dashboard. We're going to spend some time going over the CEO sales dashboard today. I can't wait. We do that every segment. And then number five, you must have a sales team. Even if you're the sales team, you must have a seven-figure sales team. And then next, after we do the objections, uh, see, there we go. The question comes up all the time is, hey, Shay, I'm showing up. I'd like to be able to connect with you. So for those folks that are out there right now, we haven't had a chance to connect, do me a favor, look right below the video. If you're watching live and you can do this on any of the platforms, look right below the video, look right below the video and put hashtag I'm here. Hashtag I'm here is the bat signal that you're in the conversation right now. So put hashtag I'm here. For those folks that are watching the replay, we appreciate you, by the way. Everybody that's watching on Roku or On Demand on Apple TV or Amazon Prime or our YouTube stations or any of our syndicated agree- uh, syndicated platforms, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Drop me a note over at, at I am Che Brown. Just drop me a note at I am Che Brown. Let me know you're in the bill. Let me know you're in the conversation. It's an honor and a privilege. All my podcasters out there, thank you so much for the downloads. Thank you for tuning in. I'm probably in your ears right now. You may not be able to see me, but just know that you are appreciated. And one of the questions that comes up every single time is, Shay, what is the mission, goals, and objectives? I mean, what's the purpose of the CEO sales huddle? Fair question. CEO Sales Huddle is a place where CEOs gather to understand how to sell more faster. So I understand that you know how to sell. You're a CEO. I understand you're probably running the sales department. I get it. You're bringing in the revenue. I get it. But here's the question. How do you sell more faster? So how do you make more sales and have less effort involved at the same time? So our big why, our big why, this is why I get up. This is why I'm here. It's really about three things. It's about sales growth. So we're going to grow the business. So we grow our client base. We grow our new clients. We grow our existing clients. We grow new products. So it's about sales growth. It's about accountability. You may have heard this before, but it's so true. And I just want to make sure you have this. It's so true is that we'll often do more for others than we'll do for ourselves. So the fact that you show up, the fact that you're in the conversation just means you're more likely to do it, by the way. And number three, it's really all about consistency. And you may have heard this before, but it's so true. And I love to repeat it that consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. And having said that, what do most people struggle with most? Seriously, at the end of the day, what do they struggle with? They struggle with consistency. So that's why we get together, by the way. We only ask for 15 minutes a day. So there are 1,440 minutes in every day, never 1,441. So it's 15 minutes. You think about that. Just, just for one second, 15 minutes represents 1% of your day. So for 1% of your day, you're going to step into this conversation around sales, around success, and you'll be stronger, you'll be clearer, you'll be bolder, you'll take better decisive action. As a result, you will see your sales go up, 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 and away. And our number one outcome, above all, is $100,000 a month. So just the fact you're in this conversation, our goal is to generate $100,000 a month over and beyond whatever you're earning today just because you're in the conversation. I want you to imagine, how would your business be different? How would your life be different? What would you do with the money? And this this is not a money conversation. I understand that, but it is a conversation around what would you do? So it's $100,000 a month over and beyond whatever you're earning today. It's amazing all by itself. Okay, now we're going to get to one of my favorite segments. Of course, they're all my favorite segments and we wouldn't do them, but this is really one of my favorite segments. And this is all about the CEO sales dashboard. And the CEO sales dashboard 
do, do, do. There we go. The CEO sales dashboard was created because there was a problem. Number of CEOs says, yeah, I want to get to $100,000 a month. Yes, yeah, I want to double my revenue, 10x my revenue. I want to see my sales go up, up, up in a way, as you say, every single day. I'm all in. But the challenge they had, well, it wasn't happening. And when I looked at it, I noticed they weren't measuring. And here's what I want you to know. What gets measured gets managed. What gets managed gets better. So I said, what if we had a dashboard? And you could look at it every single morning. And all you had to do was manage the numbers that were on the dashboard. And there's only five key areas. Go ahead and take a look at this right now. There's only five key areas that you have to be worried about in the CEO sales, sales, in the CEO sales dashboard. Number one, there's leads, appointments, offers, deals and repeat business and so you measure those three areas we'll go over in a moment those five areas and you will see your sales go up so now you know where to allocate your people you now know where to allocate your resources you now know where to put effort in to improve the processes inside of the sales department when you do that it makes it so much easier doesn't it doesn't that just make that easier so do me a favor right now as you're, as you're out there go ahead open up your ceo sales dashboard if you don't have it it's okay it's okay. I'm going to show it to you here, but I want you to have it open in the future. I want you to have it right there with you as we're going through it so you too can see it as well. And as you're doing that now, you can see it right there. Now, there's the CEO sales dashboard. It's right there in front of you. Now, you look on the right-hand side, there are leads. Let's go back over there. Sorry about that. <clears throat> there are leads. There we go. There are leads. And you got leads, appointments, offers, deals, and repeat business. So you go across the spreadsheet, all the way across to the top. And once you get to the top of the spreadsheet, you find today's date. When you find today's date, you come down the date and you go ahead and put down how many leads came into the database yesterday. How many of those leads were engaged in the database? How many referrals came in? How many were qualified? Now, what gets measured gets managed. What gets managed gets better. And then... Let's go back and take a look at yesterday. How many leads came into the database yesterday? Then let's go back and look at the last week. So we know the effort. We know the time we're putting in. How many leads came in over the last week? And so you can go change any of these categories, but now you can measure it. And if you need to, just like the case that we did today, make adjustments, you can start right there with generating more leads. Because for most folks, when they generate more leads and they're qualified, they generate more revenue. Isn't that kind of interesting how that happens? You get in front of more people who have a problem and you share how you solve it. But we don't beat ourselves up, by the way. We move on from there. We don't beat ourselves up. We're going to take a look at, as well, celebrating our wins. This is another segment that I love because in this segment, we step back and say, you know, what's working? What are we proud of? What work and effort have we put into it? We're not going to beat ourselves up all the time. No, no, no. We're going to take a look at what's really working. So do me a favor. Powerful people ask powerful questions. Why? Because questions steer focus. And in this life, you get exactly what you're focused on. So we're going to ask ourselves three questions. Number one, what are you most proud of? Number two, what was your biggest accomplishment? And number three, boy, for the sales department only. This is only for the sales department. What's the one thing you really want to brag about? Like if you could come on right now and I could open up these lines and I could see you and you could see me and you could raise your hand and say, for our sales department, yesterday, this is what I want to brag on. This is what really, really worked. The team went all out. What would it be? And then we're going to go to the other side because powerful people ask powerful questions. Why? Because questions, they're focused. And in this life, you get exactly what you focus on. So we're going to be looking at now the outcomes. We're going to ask ourselves three questions. What was your biggest roadblock for the sales department yesterday? What's preventing you today from moving forward in the sales department? And number three, powerful people ask powerful questions. What's the one thing you can do that if you did it today, it would just move the whole department forward? Isn't that just amazing, by the way? Like you do one thing, you take one action and it moves the needle. So <coughs> sometimes we do nothing and it's no big deal. Other times we do something and it moves the complete needle. So <coughs> Excuse me. Ask yourself those three questions. What's the one thing that you can do that only you can do? Now, here's my message of the day. And my message of the day is stay the course. My message of the day is stay the course. My message of the day is believe in your mission, your goals, and your objectives. Focus on your sales process, your sales systems, and your sales structure. When you do that, you will see your sales go up, up, up in a way. With that being said, it's been an honor and a privilege to serve you. My name, by the way, is Shea Brown, the host of the CEO Sales Huddle. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you from the bottom of my heart, we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless. And I wish you all success. I'll see you on the other side. Peace.